I've lost 60 pounds and I've learned some lessons the hard way, which is why here on my YouTube channel, I'm dedicated to helping you learn lessons faster so that you don't have to take the steps I did. If you want to learn the seven mantras that have helped me tremendously that could probably help you, then stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Angela. I've lost 60 pounds and I am dedicated to helping you get there as well. If you're new to my channel, you're probably familiar with the Bright Line Eating Program because that's pretty much the keyword that probably brought you here. My channel over the past few months has been dedicated to Bright Line Eating and I do exclusively weight loss content now. I used to be a beauty blogger, mommy blogger, all over the place, but now I keep my YouTube channel as a sacred place to bring us all together so that we can reach our goals and reach our dream body so that we can live the life of our dream. I used to be a mommy blogger, a beauty blogger. Here on YouTube, I pretty much did whatever I want, which was fine, but now that I'm so committed to Brightline Eating, I wanted to keep my YouTube channel to be a place that was exclusively for weight loss. And I'm so happy to tell you that I'm finally down 60 pounds. I've been saying 55 pounds for quite some time. I have another video that I'm going to be filming explaining why it took me so long to get from the 55 pound mark to the 60 pound mark, but this video today is really just about seven lessons slash mantras that have tremendously helped me that I think will be beneficial to you. I have a cheat sheet written down here. These are mantras that if you're bright line eating experienced, it's probably not new to you because you see a lot of people write them on the Facebook page or whatever. But if you're new to bright line eating or if you're just doing any type of weight loss program, I think these mantras will help you. If you suffer from binge eating, and you have what's called binge eating disorder or binge eating addiction, BED or BEA, or you're like me, you're a 10 out of 10 on the food susceptibility scale, which I'll have that linked in the description box. Go look for the food susceptibility quiz. That will tell you where you are on the scale of one to 10. I am a 10 out of 10, I am a binge eater, and I struggle with this. So I have some mantras that have really made such a huge difference to me, and I hope that they will help you too. So let's dive right into mantra number one. That one is, being on a diet is hard. Being overweight is hard. Choose your hard. This one is the number one. I put it at the top for a reason. I say this is one of the most important ones that you can focus on because when you're in the moment and you hear your addictive thoughts come out just saying all of the excuses that you know that they tell you whenever you're in the moment, you just want to eat what you know is not on your diet. At that moment, it feels like it's just too hard to say no. But the truth is, What's really important is reaching your goal, losing weight to achieve your dream body, the, the body that you deserve, your, your bright size body. I don't want to say your right size body because in Bright Light Eating, a lot of people say your right size body. I don't like that phrase because it sounds as if you're saying it's wrong if you're bigger. I don't like that. So for me, it's okay to say bright size body, like B-R-I-G-H-T. I'm okay with that. You can be in your bright size body and that I think will help you feel more fulfilled and be happier. I know for me, losing weight has really elevated my happiness. So I think that what happens is when you're in the moment, you're caught up and you feel like your food addiction has you by the throat and you feel like there's no other choice but to binge or to eat the food that's off plans. What you need to remember is that craving will pass. It's guaranteed to pass. It doesn't feel like it in the moment. It feels literally like life or death, or maybe that's just me, but like my food addiction level is high. So I feel like I have no choice. Like I have to binge on that food or I have to eat that food that's calling my name. But what I've learned on Brightline Eating is that the craving will pass. Being in the moment and saying no to that food craving is hard, but living my life 60 pounds heavier is way harder. So I can push that feeling aside and overcome that feeling and tell my binge brain, I'm stronger than you. I'm not going to eat that food that's calling my name. That's why I put this as the number one because I feel like for me, what I needed to hear was, you choose your heart, Angela. Yes, it's gonna be hard to say no to those cravings because you're used to giving in, but being overweight is so much harder. I don't even wanna go into it. Literally walking up these stairs, I would get out of breath when I was 210 pounds. And now I'm 150. I weigh 150 pounds. I can run up those stairs like it's nothing. Like I'm up and down those stairs all day. Like it's, it's even things like that. You know, it's not even the superficial things like my clothes look better, even though that's totally true. And I just have more energy and I sleep better. Sure, all those benefits, but it's like the little things. Like being overweight was hard, y'all. My knees hurt, my feet hurt. Like it was just, the worst part was I wasn't the best wife and mother that I know God wants me to be. So 
Yes, it's hard to say no to your food cravings, but you can say no. 100% of the time, you can say no to your food cravings because you have the power at all times. You are in the driver's seat of your actions. And being overweight, in my opinion, is way harder than saying no to the addictable foods and the addictable eating behaviors. All right, enough about that because I just went on and on and on. <laughs> Sorry, I went on. Okay, but I'm really passionate about this particular mantra. All right, mantra number two. I choose to eat my food in black and white so I can live my life in full color. I love this mantra because people who don't suffer from binge eating addiction or they're not high on the food susceptibility scale or they don't even need to lose weight or they're just judgy people, whatever. People just want to judge and they are like, they don't understand and they're like, just take one bite, especially food pushers. Don't even get me started about food pushers. I have an entire video. I will link it up here about how to deal with the food pushers in your life. but. All I know is that people who think that you are quote unquote deprived on bright line eating, they don't know you like that. They don't know you because when you are eating your planned food, and again, it doesn't even have to be bright line eating. It could be Weight Watchers, whatever you plan, whatevs. For me, it's bright line eating, but you do you, boo. Whenever you choose your food plan and you're sticking to it and somebody wants to disempower you and try to be all about you, like, you know, eat that food, whatever, why, you know, your diet is so restrictive. No, what's restrictive is being 210 pounds and needing to lose 100 pounds. That's where I was, okay? That's restrictive. So I choose to eat my food in black and white so that I can live my life in full color. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Entry number three is one bite is too many and a thousand bites are never enough. This is again specifically for binge eaters, people who have addictable brains who just take one bite and get triggered and go eat the world. That's me. So I know that it's better for me to just say no to that first bite and stay strong. Mantra number four. This one is very powerful that a lot of Brightline eaters say. And again, you can apply this principle to any diet. Honestly, I'm like, if you're doing any diet, these tips I'm giving you are not just for bright light eating. I just love bright light eating so much that that's what I keep referring to. So apologies, but no matter what diet you're on, you can stay strong on your food plan if you say, that's not my food. Identify any food that's off your food plan as NMF, not my food. That's not my food. That's all you have to say. Or NMD, not my drink, like not my alcoholic drink or whatever, you know, soda pop, whatever you want to say no to. Not my food, not my drink. If you want to take it a step further, you can say that's poison to me. And if you are a binge eater, like that food is poison for you if it causes you to binge. Like anything sugary or flour, I will totally get triggered and go binge. So I'm like, yeah, sugar is poison to me. And it's really bad for you. Like I kind of think sugar is the devil, so it's not even a lie to say sugar and flour, which are known inflammatory ingredients in food. They are causing inflammation in your body. You can call it poison and it's fine, you know? So it's poison. If you want to take it an even step further, if you're like me, religious, I'm religious, I'm a Christian, saved by the grace of God. If you are religious, you can say, thank you, God, that's not my food. I find even that little trick calls upon my higher power. It calls upon my relationship with Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I am a Christian. Yes, I just said that, but I just want y'all to know for me, it gives me that little extra boost of knowing that I don't even have to rely on my own personal strength. I can rely upon the Lord of the world. Like I can rely upon the God of the world who created the heavens and earths and is all powerful. I have a source of power at my disposal. So when I say, thank you, God, that's not my food. It makes me stronger. That's all I'm saying. All right, uh, number five, 100% is easier than 99%. This one, again, for the binge eaters, this is for the binge eaters. If you're one of those people that you can take a bite of food and then get right back on your program, no, no problem, that's great. I'm happy for you. Many of you who are watching this video, though, are not like that. You're like me. One bite leads you to destruction. Staying on your plan 100%, being 100% fully compliant is so much easier for you than doing the 99% where you say 1%, you know, once a week, I'm going to go let myself have a cupcake or not my food, whatever the food is. And then you struggle. You struggle. There is a principle called intermittent, what's it called? Intermittent reinforcement. And Dr. Susan Pierce Thompson, the founder of Brightline Eating, did an entire video on that. Go look it up, Brightline Eating, 
intermittent reinforcement and she talked about lab studies with rats that were given like just a little hit of sugar water or whatever the substance was just a little hit every now and then it made their brains way more addictable if you can just be 100 percent compliant to your program it's just going to be so much easier for you because then you're not asking you're not asking all those food thoughts in your head like throughout the day we call it mental chatter food chatter where throughout the day your brain's like maybe you want to go eat that maybe you want to go drink this alcoholic drink maybe you want to whatever but if you're just 100 percent on your program and you're just smooth sailing that's when the chatter dies down so there's magic in the 100 percent. okay now we are up to number six i am responsible for the food i put in my mouth you think about this one you think about this and you wrap your head around this because you can't blame anybody you can't blame your mother-in-law who tried to be a food pusher and wanted you to eat that cake that she made for you special you can't blame her if that food goes in your mouth it's not her fault it's your choice you can't blame the toddler. This is me talking to myself. You can't blame the toddler for pushing your buttons and you're tired and you just want to grab like a grilled cheese sandwich. You know, you just want to eat something comforting. Mm -mm. That toddler didn't put that in your mouth. Nope, you chose to eat that. So you have full responsibility for everything that goes in your mouth. Take ownership of it and be like, nobody else can feed me. I feed myself. So take it seriously and be committed to the program. All right. Number seven, trust that your food is enough. Because on Bright Lane Eating or whatever food plan you choose, you will have enough food, especially if you do Bright Lane Eating where you write down your food the night before and you commit to it, like you commit your food. That food is enough. Bright Lane Eating is a pro perfect food program and it has worked for thousands, if probably tens of thousands of people at this point. Trust in the system and trust that your food is enough and your brain may want more. Maybe your mouth wants more. Maybe you're even hungry if you're new to the program and your body hasn't adjusted yet. Trust that it is enough and it will see you through. So those are my seven mantras that have helped me dramatically. Comment below with which one is your favorite. And if you have more mantras that have helped you, share the wealth. Sharing is caring. Share the love. Also, if you'd like to go grocery shopping with me and my toddler that causes me <laughs> a lot of anxiety, I'm just kidding, I love him to death. If you want to go grocery shopping with me and do like a little mini grocery haul, then be sure to watch the video. I'm going to have it somewhere on the screen so you can watch that. Meantime, I upload every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to help you on your weight loss journey, and I bring you more good content like this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.